Gold means something. People wore gold. That's just how it was. The United States used to be on a gold standard because we had gold to back up our paper. We don't have that anymore. <laughs> Keep in mind that I'm a product of the 80s. I grew up a, a poor kid in Brooklyn in a one bedroom for four people. Yeah, yeah, fresh, fresh berries. Reaganism came and the whole idea of money, capitalism, you know, a small government, all those things began to spur on this, this optimism in America. Say when? 8.30. Everyone was making money. You saw Wall Street, the movie, epitomized exactly what that period of time was. We dressed that way. We were dressing like we were some form of Gordon Gecko. So to complete the look, I even bought a pair of non-prescription horn rim glasses. <laughs> I had no business even having them on. It was just purely aesthetic. I was in college. I had a lot of fun. I graduated high school in 84. I went to college in Manhattan from 84 to 88. You know, I didn't have a lot of money. I worked my ass off. But to have fun, to spend the money on fun, is really why I worked. I didn't meet Dad until 1990, so the 80s were over. That's it. Here we are. 33... It'll be 33 years. We'll be married 30 years, but we know each other for 33. He always presented like he had money because I didn't know dad's family or what class he was from until we dated for at least six months. And by that time, we had built a relationship and I was in love with him and it didn't matter. Then I found out he was poor. <laughs> Look, yeah, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. There were some real tough times you know, economically, you know, financially. They were tough, they were tough. But throughout all that, we never gave up on one another. If there's one ingredient that's why we're sitting here today, it's probably what it is. When dad and I were together, or got together, it was more of a, dare I say, gender role kind of lifestyle. My job, was to stay home and to raise my children. That was my job. Life is a balancing act. You give up one thing for another. And truly, it's the joy of my life. Nothing else makes me happier than seeing my children well-adjusted and happy and just grateful they are, because they both are grateful. Um, and yeah, the, the things we gave up, but like I said before, you can't have it all, man. You gotta give something up. It's a give and take. It's what life's about. Uh, I was working for a small British pharmaceutical company and they actually were paying me less than I was working in retail. But I, but I looked at the future, I looked at the long term, you know, and I said, I'll make more money in this industry than I would staying in, in a retail environment. Well, well the men in, in our family, especially on my mother's side of the family, um, wore gold watches. It meant that you had enough money to put a piece of gold on your wrist like that. that that's what it meant. And that's what... Rolex branded. They just did it in some way, shape, or form. They did it. The presidential bracelet is just it. You can see it from tables away at a restaurant. If somebody's walking down the street towards you, you can just see it. You know what it is. Dad had talked about this Rolex. When he was gonna turn 50, Christian and I decided that we would mark it with a gold Rolex. And it was just the actual watch itself. And then, I don't know when I gave him the bracelet. Oh, that was the 25th anniversary, which was five years ago now. So he was 52. So two years later, I gave him the bracelet. And then to get this, to be completely surprised, to get this watch, I felt like it was a whole nother level on an entirely different level. And not that a material possession should ever define you, but it gives you such a, uh, uh, at least for me, even more confidence. It's the name Rolex. There's something inherently in that name, the prestige, it just exudes achievement. 
It does. It's a statement that, hey, I've arrived. You know, and I'm here to stay. Not a flash in the pan. It gave me more optimism, more confidence. It's like, we're going even farther. That's what this watch did. It's R-O-L-E-X. That's what you're gunning for. And as flashy as you may go with the brand, there's still a sense of comfort and security with the brand. The poor kid with the fake horn rimmed glasses is pretty successful right now. He really, he did himself proud. And as a result, he did us as a family proud. You have to have a partner in life who is a partner and truly a partner and can manage all the other things so you don't have to, so they can properly succeed in their professional career. However, professional career or not, the biggest success is the family career. Invest in the brand, right? Mom invested in me, the brand. There's something to be, to be said about making the investment in someone, you know, and, 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 and not being so quick on the draw to say, hey, this is not gonna work, it's over. That's the lesson in all of this. How do you navigate those waters is really what, what, what uh, I think what defines, you know, a partnership. I have one of the most beautiful white gold day dates I've ever seen, ever. And I'm perpetually stopped and asked, you know, about it. And it's just, it's stunning. It's stunning. This is the, the new gold Rolex, which my son says is mine. He says he gave it to me. And the only thing I have to do is give it to his daughter. Let's talk a little bit about this watch, all right? One lunch and 25 years later, that one lunch was the lunch that mom, <laughs> we had together and I forgot money. And so she spotted me 20 bucks. So we sat together, I gave her the 20 bucks the following day and I never forgot that. The best achievements or the most important achievements really aren't professional. The professional achievement allows you to do all the wonderful things with the people you love. The commemoration is more about that than it is about whether I become associate VP or SV. I don't care about that. I don't care. If it happens, that's wonderful. So that I can share, that we can share together special moments with, with my loved ones. That's it. That's it. My only advice, just remember that the most important thing is your family. You want to turn your kids into people that you want to hang out with. My mother and I wanted to hang out together. We were friends. Not when I was young, not at all. When I was older, we were friends. And when I lost her, I lost my best friend. Okay, and then I made two new best friends in my kids. That's it. Find somebody that I always say to my son, you would want to raise your children. And to my daughter, someone that you want your children to look up to and to be like. And if you can do that, truly, if you can do that, the sky's the limit. My goal, Rolex, is, is less a symbol of my professional success, but much, much more a symbol of my, my, my success within my family. The fact that my kids want to go away with us on vacation, that we have Sunday dinners, that we go out to dinner on a Saturday or Friday night, that we're together, that is success. That is my goal Rolex. Where we came from and where we are today. Yep. It's... Makes you, uh... I'll give her a kiss. What are you doing? <laughs> and... Wait, I think those are my glasses. Hold on. Yeah, my mom, my glasses. Don't do that. Wait, those, these are mine. No, I think these are.
Why? I don't know. I think you. <laughs> GG. <laughs>